Jim's still in Las Vegas after the Milwaukee Bucks just uh, saw their saw their in season tournament uh, adventure end a little bit early, one twenty eight, one nineteen to the Indiana Pacers in the semifinals. Jim, just g- give me your impression. I mean, you got to go to Vegas, which is cool. You got to see this court. You got to see this event. Uh, it's it's it was interesting, uh, but it ended unceremoniously. I think there's still got to be some concerns about the Bucks. So just give me the the full run of the gamut here. What your impressions are of tonight? Yeah, it's uh, look, it was a NBA event. We'll, we'll put it that way. I mean, a lot of pomp and circumstance. They dressed up T-Mobile Arena from the outside to in. You know, uh, all of the the hype that you could expect from either an All Star game or even a Finals. Jr. They they created that. Um, you know, and then I think the, the four teams that are here definitely wanted to win the thing. They they were here. They made this trip. You know, the Bucks flew right after their game against the Knicks earlier in the week, land in Vegas, they do a media day, that whole thing. Now, I think uh, a 2 o'clock local, 4 p.m. central tip-off, a little weird, you know, in terms of that type of thing. But, um, no, it was – look, I, I think uh, as a whole, JR, you know, I'll agree with Damian Lillard who had said, hey, um, you know, the NBA wanted – November, December games to matter to the players, to the coaches, etc. And I think it did. I think it worked. Yeah, I think so too. Bucks 15 and seven now. They get to come home. I, but but back to that defense. I, I mean, I they're missing Jay Crowder and they're missing Pat Connaughton for that matter right now. It, it feels like there are just a lot of holes on that defensive scheme. And I don't know when the point is that you really start to worry, but I guess I, I just can't imagine this team becoming a a top 10 defense again with, with the personnel that they have. And maybe that's still too early to be worried about, but what are you seeing offensively? Obviously great. It's great, but man, I just, I just wonder if they can stop a team like Indiana, you know, over a seven game series, if it comes to it later in the year. Yeah. You know, look, they're um, (laughs) the defense is, is going to have to be better than what it is. I mean, right now they're bottom third in defensive rating if you're into that, which is points allowed per 100 possessions, you know, they're bottom third in points allowed. If you like just the raw numbers, it, that's that has to improve. Um, I don't think they're going to jump from bottom third to top third. But I think what if you're the box at this point, you're a quarter of the way in. So in the roster, Jr. is if it changes at all mm-hmm. around the trade deadline. It's nothing major. Um, So I think what the Bucs have to hope for is that they can get to about middle of the pack. And I know, look, that's a change from recent years, right, JR? I mean, this was a top one, top two, top five defensive team. Um, That's with the trade for for Damian Lillard and, you know, the the changes in the backcourt. Adrian Griffin's got some different stuff going on. So they're they're a team that's going to have to score more and, and, and really beat teams that way. Uh, by and then also make some key stops. Now they've done that. Uh, look, they're, they're, as we record this, they're two games behind Boston or two games in the loss column behind Boston, but number one seed in the East. So I mean, it's not like there there aren't things to to build off of. But you're right, defensively, Jared, that there is a long way to go. Uh, that long way though is is to that that sort of middle of the pack level, and you know they'll just have to they'll just have to be better offensively than they were against the Pacers. That's for sure. If nothing else, the in-season tournament has been a coming out party for Tyrese Halliburton, the Oshkosh North high school product who has been, has been, he's been awesome. This is, you know, not new necessarily, but he's been the star of this tournament and he's, you know, he's leading one of the most explosive offenses in the NBA right now with Indiana. Uh, You know, I, I said before the year, I don't know if, you know, my, my prediction might be Damian Lillard isn't obviously going to be an all-star. Now I don't, I don't think that was right, but the starting point guard in the Eastern conference right now might just be Tyrese Halliburton, you know, Oshkosh's own. So what have you seen from him? And, and, you know, are we talking about an MVP case? It's so early. I realize, but like at some point, the guy, the guy just keeps delivering night after night. Um, well, there's two things there and, and they both don't favor Tyrese, unfortunately, I mean, to be a starter in the all-star game, you have to have a whole bunch of fan votes. And uh, I mean, the Pacers are still in the bottom tier of fans showing up to their games. And I mean, this tournament's big for him. 
uh, on the national level. I mean, these are the most uh, nationally televised games that the Pacers will have. I think their quarterfinal game the other day, JR, was the first time he'd ever been on TNT, for instance. Um, That's right. So I, I don't know about that, whereas Lillard has that sort of uh, national perspective. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, there are some other guards we could talk about uh, that yes. might be in the mix there. And now in terms of, uh, look, uh, yeah, the MVP is definitely, look, the Pacers are going to have to be something much, much better than what they've been um, right now. <laughs> they can't play defense. Either. Yeah. yeah, they can't play defense either. They're sort of a fringe playoff team at this point. Um, and so usually, JR, that that falls into, you know, who's who are the top teams in the in the east or in the west and Nikola Jokic obviously is is having just another monster season and all that stuff but I think what you can look at for Tyrese Halliburton though is the leap to all NBA it's it's one thing to make an all-star team it's one thing to get a max contract but all NBA means you are one of the six best guards in basketball that that is elite level if you're first or or fourth best you know if you're for second team, et cetera. Um, so that's the conversation really, JR, for a kid who uh kid, I mean, he's still very young coming out of Iowa state. He kind of joked here, JR, that he was a no star athlete coming out of high school. And, and here he is that uh, probably the leading candidate for the MVP of this in season tournament. So um, whether they win or lose in the title game, um, definitely taking a star turn though. People are taking notice. That's for sure. Yeah. No star stretch. He did not win Mr. Basketball, nor did Tyler Hero. So uh, and they were in the same class. So that is one of my favorite facts. But uh, certainly an incredible, uh, incredible leap forward for Tyrese Halliburton. Uh, the Bucks are headed home, but uh, but they had a nice showing. Jim, hopefully you at least got some swag on your way back from Vegas. <laughs> I have a nice credential that says in season tournament. That's good. (laughs) Okay, great. All right, Jim, we'll talk to you again soon.